this again. Always. Are you ready to lose, old man? You know, I don't have much of anything left to lose, but I won't be losing this game to you. And what makes you so sure? Because you are a loser. I'm not. It's how it's always been. We'll see about that. Deal us out. Do you miss her? Of course I miss her. It's too bad she's not here to watch me make a fool out of you. Well, it's not like I need to do much. That's funny. It's about time you got a sense of humor in this shithole. Wouldn't be such a shithole if I had my wife back now, would it? I wouldn't have to spend so much time here kicking your ass. You know what, Dad? If you had just let me live my life, you wouldn't have had to worry about trying to change me into something I'm not. Oh, yeah? And what was that? What were you going to be? A dropout? A junkie? A runaway? Oh, wait. I seem to recall you already were all of those things. Like father, like son, am I right? No. <laughs> no, not at all. Because much like him, I actually respected myself enough to do something with my life. You had no such path in mind. Just because my path wasn't what you had in mind, doesn't mean it wasn't a path worth pursuing. No path you were ever going to pursue would have taken you beyond living off of other people's hard work and generosity. <laughs> yeah. You talk about generosity and then you bring me here to take all of your money. You don't seem to understand how this works. Typically I would say you wouldn't get my money. But uh, it's not even on the table to begin with. Oh? Today we're playing for this. What, what is that? Is that a note from the government saying you can officially make me not your kid because I'm not like him? No. No, it's a letter from your mother. It, uh... I guess it got lost and after the investigation and the funeral and all that mess. But, I'll make you a deal. If I win, I read the letter, and you have to stay here all night and listen to me read over and over again how she felt like you were our greatest collective failure. If you win, well, you get the letter. You can do what you want with it. Wow. Potentially giving up the last letter from your wife and living with that burning desire to know what she had to say. Can you handle it? Because I will be burning that if I win. You all know how much she despised you even in her final moments. You know what? If she despised me and it took this letter to show me that, let's say you knew my wife better than I ever did. Fair enough. I accept. Flip them. <laughs> Holy shit. The look on your face is the most satisfying thing I've seen in a long time. Well, other than this. Well, it's not like I have much to lose anyway. I hope you find what you're looking for in there. Oh, I will. Wait, 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 wait. I want to make it interesting. I mean, we, we always play poker, predictably. 
you always win. It's good double or nothing on blackjack. And I'll even raise the stakes in your favor. If I hit anything other than 21, anything at all, I will not only stay all night, I will stay all week. I'm yours. All you have to do is not hit 21. And you get the letter. If you do hit it, I take the letter and I burn it like I originally planned. But I've already won. And you always show up when I call you anyway, so what's the point? Even in this hellhole where you control everything, you still hide behind your greatest skills and your closest friend to hide your greatest insecurities. Can you really say you've won if you never really had the chance to lose? You're full of shit. Am I? Why don't we put it to the test? Aces are 11. And, uh, don't bust. Deal it. Holy shit! The look on your face is, oh, just the most satisfying thing I've seen in a long time. I don't know. Other than that, fuck you! You know, I assume that's the last thing your wife said to you before she followed me out. Hand it over. Actually, you know, I'm quite curious to know what's in here. It could come in handy later. I'm going to kill you. You know, I wish you would. I really do. Being stuck in here with you two. Ugh. Looking back, it's actually worse than what we had before. Let's see what Mama has to say. What in the world? How did she find us? Who? I don't believe it. She sounds so grown up. Who, damn it? Who? Vanessa. The, the girl on the road. This is letters from her, it's not from mom. Oh. Go ahead and burn it. That didn't mean anything to me. No, no, no. This is far better than I had originally thought. In fact, I want you to have it. I said burn it, asshole. Take the letter. No! What could she possibly tell me about you that I don't already know? Everything that I couldn't tell you before I left. Now please. Take it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. In his words, he knew you loved him in your own way. He just didn't know how you could. And that is what drove him deeper into the void. None of this is true. It is. 
It very much is. The way he spoke of you made it seem as if you were the best father a man like him could have ever been given. You said all this about me? I did. Why? Because I guess after seeing what mom was willing to give up just to talk me down, I guess I saw that something needed to change. Even if you didn't feel the same way. I still don't. Yes, sir. But now you can try. Because that letter is what neither you nor I could understand until Mom explained it to me. And what is that? She felt that even though we are a product of our environments, we aren't a slave to them. She felt like we get to choose how to react to the cruelty the world can throw at us. And we can choose to forgive those who have wronged us. Most importantly, that we can choose to forgive ourselves. And then we can come back. That does sound like your mother. But you think I don't know that you were blowing smoke up her ass so that she could blow it up mine? With this, you're exactly who I thought you were. I'm trying to help, okay? Every day for the last eight years, we have gone through this routine. And every day, you try to prove to me that you're better than me. Why? I'm not trying to prove that I'm better than you. I'm making you understand how much of a miserable man you turned out to be. And how much pain you've caused me. You could have been him. You could have finished school, you could have married up, and you could have lived on. But instead, you decided to shirk off to shoot up and to die out. I am sorry, I am not like him, okay? Everything he is, I hate. I did not want a job like yours and I definitely didn't want a family like yours. I mean, look at him. He's just a regurgitated image of yourself. But I messed up, okay? I'm sorry, is that what you want to hear? That's a good start. But it won't undo the past. I realize that, I do. But I realized that when mom hopped into the car with me, she wasn't just trying to save me. She was trying to save you too. She was trying to save us from becoming this never ending cycle of mediocrity. And I needed you to know that. That's why I told Vanessa all that. So that hopefully I could save her life and yours, even though I couldn't save mom's. And he wanted to thank you for standing tall and unwavering in your role as a father and as a friend. And he wanted you to know that he loved you too. I meant that then. I couldn't say it then, but I meant it. No! Oh! How could you? You mean how can I listen to these lies? That's the truth! I believe the truth when I see it. And I don't see it. I don't think I ever will. I'm trying to help you see it! So that you can change with me! So that you can be better than when mom died! I wouldn't need to be better if you hadn't killed my wife! I didn't want to! I wanted to protect her! I wanted to protect us! All of us! But that... That innocent little girl had a life to live that was greater than ours. And I only had a second to react. And I chose to crash that car into the hill so that she could live. That may be so. And you did protect me. Dying out there in that crash was the best thing you could have done for me. But taking my wife... Unforgivable. Then why won't you let me go? I just wanted to leave this world. You just can't let me. Because I need you to understand just how much pain you caused me. I need you to feel the anguish that I have to choke down every single day that I live without your mother and with the shit hand this world dealt me when it gave me you instead of him. Dad, he's not even real. He never was. Because I was never going to be that. How could you expect that of me? 
Of anyone. You mean somebody decent? Someone upstanding? You couldn't be that? What do you even think you were worth? I don't know. Does my father, do you really think that this is the best way to teach me? I do. How does that solve anything? What does that fix? How can you think that this is what mom would have wanted? There's nothing to fix. Keeping you in the cellar with me brings me the only peace I can know. And don't you dare pretend to know what your mother would have wanted. I think she would have wanted you to lock that door on the way back out into the world so you could leave this painful shit behind and be the man she wanted you to be. I don't care to be that man anymore. And I won't be revisiting that world. Ever. Why? Because you're weak? Like you always have been? Yes. Okay. Because it's safer in here. It's safer in here in the hell of my own mind. With you and with him. Because out there is only death and your mother. And you. Space right next to her for me. But in here I stay above ground. And here I stay breathing. And here because it's the only thing I can feel anymore. I can feel the pain of this existence. And so will you. Dad. Please, I don't care how long I have to stay on this earth. If it means that I just get the chance to show you the truth. But you have to let me go. What you don't understand is that this existence is pain. Far worse than the pain of being alive. Because now I can't just off myself and fade into the black. Now I have to sit here and watch you wither away. And that hurts me far more than any insult you could ever throw at me. What am I supposed to do? Stay here alone? I'm sorry I took her with me. I'm sorry I can't bring her back. I really am. Keeping me here, inside your head, in this prison, it's killing you. And this fake persona of everything that could have been, it's poisonous. And you are never going to survive if you don't let me die. Again. I can't. <laughs> you can. You can. And you can let him go too. Just let it all go. You disgust me. Get out of my sight.
I'm sorry, don't. I know. Just let me go. Forever this time. Oh, I guess it couldn't hurt to play one more. <laughs> 